These are some of the images he captured from a Hurricane Hunter aircraft. An early morning departure from Savannah, Georgia started the roughly 10 hour mission to study the storm. Going into the storm, it was fine. Two and a half hour flight out. It was smooth as going from Chicago to Atlanta. Once we got into the storm, it got a little bumpy. Uh, but it really didn't get bumpy bumpy until we got closer to the eye wall. Members of the military were on board to collect information on Hurricane Florence. The loadmaster's job was to take the tubes, or I should say the pods, put it in the tube, and then when we got to a certain GPS coordinate, he opened up the tube, the pod went down, and then got, collected the data. Technical Sergeant Chris Hibben documented the trip in photos and video. You know, it's really kind of surreal. Uh, I was actually up in the cockpit with the pilots and I was taking some photos and video and it's just dark. It's just really dark. And then all of a sudden you're getting closer and closer to the eye and then the sun starts to come out and it gets really bright and the clouds are still all over the airplane. And then once you break that wall, it just becomes blue sky and this huge wall of clouds just circling around you and it's 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 very surreal and and in some way I feel really good that some of my images will be used scientifically that you know maybe they'd be able to figure out how to get people out sooner and you know they can protect themselves better he's not done with Florence he's scheduled to take another hurricane hunter flight tomorrow afternoon and